Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to fix out of video memory error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to turn off frame generation. So if you're not able to launch the game, in that case, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open RS Dragon Wilds folder. Now open saved folder. Open config folder. Open windows folder. And scroll down. Over here you can see game user settings. Open this file. And scroll down. And over here you can see B frame generation. If this is set to true, you can type in false over here. And then go to file and then click on save. Now you can launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to try Vulkan or DX11 or DX12 in launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option. You can type in dash V U L K N Vulkan. And now you can close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. But this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So type in dash dx11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can type in dash dx12. Launch the game and then check. Now if nothing is working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to end any Epic Game Services running in Task Manager. Now this has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Make a right click in the Start menu and then go to Task Manager and then find any epic services running so here you can in my case here you can see epic games web if you see epic online services just make a right click on epic and then click on end task so close all the services which is related to epic games launcher epic games and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to update the system bios now this has also worked for many players so update your system bios now for this you can go to system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer you can go to dell website if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer this is just an example go to drivers and downloads you can select the right operating system find the bios in the list once you find the bios you can download the bios and then install the bios now, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% when you update the system BIOS. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, restart, uh, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now, to verify the game files, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install, install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now, delete the config file first, not the save game files, config file. You will lose all the saved settings. So for this, you can open File Explorer and then go to this location once again. So go to this location and over here, here you can see config folder. You can make a right click, you can copy this, you can create a backup first and then you can delete the config folder and then you can launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. In that case, you can rename or delete the save game files, but create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, you can do this. You can just create a backup first. So go to, the, go to this location. This is the location go to this location and then over here you can see rs dragon wilds folder so you can just copy this create a backup first and you can paste it to the desktop you just create a backup now once you have a backup over here now you can rename this folder and you can rename it or you can even delete it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you if you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security 
and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, open the common folder, open the game folder and then select the exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps this time open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now launch the game now type in control panel we go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Once you open the game folder, open this folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open, again, and then click on add. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then go back and then add the first exe file, and then click on open, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. You can open this folder, binaries folder, win64. Select this exe file, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again go to properties, this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go back, again back, again back, do the same thing with the with this exe file and then you can check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes. So if it's not working, then you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and do the same thing with the first exe file and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So make sure that you install the latest graphic graphic card driver and that has to be a clean installation so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game md card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver which is installed on your computer and then restart your computer and then go to md website select your graphic card Install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file and then click on add. So once the game is added over here, so scroll down and find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on the game and then over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card. Again, click on add desktop app and this time open this folder, 
binaries win64 select this exe file click on add again scroll down and find the game in the list once you find it click on it uh, click on it and then again select high performance you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so you i am showing for nvidia so you can go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card once again and then select your operating system click on find and then scroll down and then click on view more versions and over here you can try to install the maybe previous graphic card driver so right now 572.83 is the geforce game release driver so you, you can even try 572.70 but for few users this has worked 566.36 this has worked for many players so you, you can install it click on view download it but during the installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart is must restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down you will see visual c++ file you have to install this x86 and x64 you have to install these two files so click on x86 and download this x64 file as well and run both the exe file and once you run it install it and after the installation restart your computer restart is a must and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it if you have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running go to task manager and close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to general and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay in discord settings if you have nvidia app running or in that case you can go to nvidia app settings you will see settings option go to settings and there you will find that this uh, overlay option turn off overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and, and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi after one reward you know any kind of overclocking application running close it also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 
So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, if nothing is work working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different right? So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to like different drive like E drive or F drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.